Welcome to the demonstration of the CloudExtend OneDrive for Business and SharePoint. This app allows users to store their data in an inexpensive, portable, best-of-breed storage system while also integrating their files and folders with NetSuite records. After clicking Get Started, users will be prompted to log into their Microsoft 365 account. I'm already logged into mine, so it's going to bring me right back to the application. Once logged in, users have several ways to add files and folders to NetSuite records. Start by selecting Upload and Attach. At this point, you can browse your local computer or just drag your files to your local, from your local machine to the uploader. And I'm just going to go ahead and drag one file to the uploader. And after dropping your file onto the target, the Microsoft Picker will open up. And here you can choose your destination, either in your OneDrive for Business or SharePoint. In this case, I'm going to drop this file into the Socially Savvy Studios customer record or customer folder on my SharePoint. So I'll go ahead and click on Save. And now you can see that the file is attached in NetSuite, almost as if it were stored natively in NetSuite, but it's not taking up any storage space. Now, when I click on the file, you'll see that the file is actually opening here in SharePoint. The pin icon is also a visual indication that you've manually attached this file. Files that were manually attached will have this pin, and they'll also always appear at the root level of the CloudExtend Files tab. Now, if I no longer need to associate this particular file with the record, uh, I can go ahead and detach it. This does not actually delete the file from SharePoint. To delete it in SharePoint, you'd need to navigate back to SharePoint, find the proper file or folder, and then go ahead and delete it. The next method of linking files and folders is to associate an existing OneDrive for Business or SharePoint location with a NetSuite record. In this case, I want to associate the entire Socially Savvy Studio customer folder with this NetSuite record. So I'll come in here. I'll go back to my Demos folder. I will open up the Customers folder, select the Socially Savvy Studios folder this time. Go ahead and click on Open. And since there's no files inside this folder in SharePoint, you won't see them over here in NetSuite yet either. However, you will still see the pin icon indicating that you've manually attached this folder. The beauty of attaching a folder instead of files is that any other files added to that folder, even externally, will automatically appear in NetSuite as well. Here I'll go ahead and open up the, the folder inside of SharePoint. And let's take two files and drag them over. So these two files are now uploaded to my SharePoint. And I can come back over to NetSuite and expand the folder. And now I can see that the two files are in here. Now note that there's no pin on these particular files because these files came over via association. In other words, they belong to this particular folder. I did not manually add these particular files to this NetSuite record. Now let's take a look at a scenario where I can take an Outlook file attachment and then save that to OneDrive or SharePoint and then still see them in NetSuite because of the folder association. In order to do this, you'll first want to ensure that the folders you need are already synced to your local machine. As a prerequisite, you want to make sure that you've already enabled desktop sync for the folders. At the time of this recording, this will be done by navigating to the folder in OneDrive or SharePoint and then clicking on the sync icon. And then just go ahead and follow the instructions from Microsoft. Mine's already set up. So now that the local sync is enabled, let's see how you can take advantage of this in your Outlook environment. Here's an email with a file attachment. I can save this attachment to a synced folder by clicking Save As. And here I can see that Cloud Extend Demos folder, navigate to the Socially Savvy Studios folder, and go ahead and click on Save. And when I can come back to SharePoint, and I can come down to Customers, and here you can see that that particular file is now saved here on this folder. And if I flip back over to NetSuite and expand the Socially Savvy Studios folder, here's that particular file saved right here. And I can go ahead and click open in OneDrive, and here I can actually see that file right here. I hope you found this useful. Please visit our support center or contact your account executive or customer success manager to learn more. Thanks for watching this demonstration.